Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Endgame of Devil. Today, we will surely get a new relic. Uh, we're on level 16 of Frankenstein. Have a healing stone, plus 1 HP for all adventures, not too bad. Magic Vortex, gain 1 legendary minion and 6 magic bubble per 4 waves. Alright, what's our starting units? We got a bunch of demons. I guess I will just get an early sarcophagus, see if we can get like a build enabler right off the bat. Another phantom musket would be cool. Do you always start with the uh, radioactive beholder? I feel like the... Oh, supervisory unit actually uh, will be extremely important for us. Do I want the cult flyer? Uh, I mean, I'll get a gun freak early. Why not? I guess I'll get a Gnome as well. Just give us like a base to start off with. I think the starting unit for Frankenstein is just the two like impy dudes with the bows, the demon scouts. But I could be wrong. Because I feel like I see this Beholder guy all the fucking time too. We're probably going to lose a gem. Which is what it is. The knights are kind of a real ball buster early. Uh, Brain Vat seems pretty good. That's just going to generate us some um, rerolls. Uh, which early on is nice. Guess I'll get a burnt corpse as well. Got a dwarven gunner. Our sarcophagus has given us a chainsaw freak. You know, we haven't gone for a freak build either. So that could be something we go for. Potentially. Could even get the replicator to go like buck wild with it. I think I'll get an intellect devourer to empower my rerolls. So I think that would be cool. Eh, you know what? We're gonna need a little bit of lightning, but I think like a single imp or something, like a cloud imp, should be good enough for that, to be honest. Okay, we got a pretty amazing dude. Oh, it'll get super aim. Uh, don't want any of these guys. Don't really care about the electrons. I think I'm going to skip all these. Well, maybe I should have gotten the musket, but... I think we're kind of golden right now. Dwarf Merchant. Gain one removal per Dwarf Miner on the board. I mean, we have zero of them, but... You know, that is a factor that could change. Or we could remove them later. In fact, I'm going to get rid of a Demon Scout or two. Just to, like, laser focus in a little bit on the build. So I think we're going to be pretty fine-ish. Since we have like a lot of legendaries. Oh, scientist. That is actually perfect. He's going to begin strengthening, strengthening our freaks. Um, Don't think I want any of that. Uh, ancient book will be cool. I guess I will get an explosive barrel. So that will also be cool. Uh, fuck, I could have gotten lightning from that one dude. Oh, it'd be what it'd be. There's far better lightning units than the Klein bottle. Anyways. Was I going to remove someone? I guess not. We got our first super freak. Let's see, Chainsaw Maniac, AoE crit combo. Mm, that's pretty nice. Uh, well, we only have the one Dwarf Gunner. I will get another Steel Helmet. I think we are Freak Maxing. <laughs> I see there's another Dwarf Merchant. I mean, I'll get a couple Dwarf Merchants. We could get like two Dwarf Miners, and then each of these guys will be outputting a couple removals. Every once in a while. That's not bad build wise. Don't really care for another intellect power. I think we're kind of golden on that front. 
Uh, mind flare, don't think we want or need. Our gun freak got empowered. We have a Professor Thunderbolt. Oh yeah, this is going to be actually incredible. Now I think the last thing we're going to need is like... I guess just another insane poet. Like if we could get a... Another refracting prism. I think that would be cool. Uh, don't need the lightning anymore. Guess I will do the unstable flask. Did get a dwarf miner. Gotten our secondary gun freak. Another corpse will be cool. Just gonna remove the dwarven gunners. I want all my uh, damage upgrades to start hitting the Maniacs or the uh, Insane Poet, because I think that would be badass. I don't think we need more than one scientist. I think the scientist is already doing good work. We don't really have the amount of corpses where... We actually need more than one scientist going on at once. Okay, so none of these guys. None of these guys. I will get another steel helmet. Another dwarf miner. We're going to need to remove a ton of bubbles. That is perfectly acceptable. I kind of think I want to remove the Lord of the Storm as well. Because he's not part of the build. The demon with the axe is also not part of the build. In fact, I am starting to think we need to get rid of the dwarf like sub build as well. And just go absolutely crazy with the freak build. I'll make that transition pretty soon. I want to still generate like a bunch of a uh, bunch of removal in the interim period. We did not get our uh, we didn't get our refracting prism. It be would be. I mean, we have twenty four inspiration, so it's not like we're in super dire need of it. I am gonna remove the dwarf merchants at this point. Sorry, you are not part of the build. Same thing with the intellect devourer. Only the insane poet and the supervisory demon get to remain. We're getting a lot of chainsaw freaks. Uh, what are these guys? It's a lightning charger. I mean, we have infinite lightning. We don't need another Professor Thunderbolt. We've gotten a bomb freak. Do any of these guys? If the enemies are destroyed. Uh, the Eye of Horus is cool, but a refracting prism would be cooler. We did not get it. Uh, I guess I'll get the Supercell once more, because it's an extremely powerful relic. It's going to drain all of our lightning, but it's going to make our corpses go off instantaneously as well. Uh, which will be cool. Let's see. Build's going absolutely ballistic. We've gotten another gun freak, gun maniac. And then we finally like hit the critical mass where the uh, gun maniac is getting juiced as well. Okay, I will get an Ancient Tree. I think that is, like, an upgrade on the Supervisory Unit. Don't want a Phoenix. Don't really care for the Mini White Hole. I mean, I think it's a good one, but still. Ah, none of these. I care not for the Hound. I think we're pretty much golden as we are right now. I think we can just, like, coast... I'll get a second Professor Thunderbolt since I got offered it again. Why not? 
That'll let me keep the lining up. I got my second insane poet. Okay, supervisor unit, you're getting out of here. Extremely great. It would be nice to get the resurgent scholar. Come to think of it, I will get another gun freak. Or uh, there's like a relic which does the same thing as a scholar. I think it's called like brainstorm. Which lets the inspiration trigger more times. Uh, the High of Horus will also be acceptable. Oh, there's the Resurgent Scholar. I rolled past a corpse accidentally, but I'm glad it uh, worked out like that. Um, you know, the meat, the writhing meat is actually pretty, like, thematically appropriate as well. Because it is also a lightning charger, kind of like undead unit. So it makes sense. We've got like the two mad scientists and then his undead cadre. And the poets are just like parts, I guess. Okay, we can get rid of the tree. <laughs> Don't think the tree makes sense for the narrative of the build. Because it's not green with blonde hair. Do any of these guys? You know, the poet might have blonde hair underneath the turban. You never know. Don't think I care for any of these guys. Uh, a Nefren Ka would basically empower all of the dudes that are the primary part of our build. So I guess I will get that. Just to like, go into the last round strong. Uh, damage dealt plus two by bullets. I think would be pretty awesome. Though it would fuck up our uh, chainsaw freaks, so never mind. Guess I'll just get the grenade. We are on the last round. The ancient maze. Which somehow I feel that it's not gonna be a ball player. It's not gonna be very strong. In fact, I think the enemies are getting. I don't know, they actually have a lot of HP. Maybe we could get rid of the. Uh, Strengthener because I already have uh, pretty much all my dudes strengthened already. Pretty sure the bomb freak is also strengthened. If not, that would be a little sucky. Yeah, bomber maniac. That is the word for the strengthened one. It's... Oh yeah, no, we totally are dominant. We have destroyed them. That was amazing. We had seven chainsaw maniacs, six gun maniacs, a singular bomber maniac, two insane poets. We had two thunderbolts, but they were stolen. A writhing meat, a scholar, and a nephron con. You know, it always feels nice to have like a build that is like got a thematic through line. So I'm sure you could just like make good shit by like slapping together good units, but it's nice to have like a mostly cohesive build. I don't know, just feels cool. That's what bad guys do typically. I mean, I know the demon lord archetype in like fiction or whatever is like they have all the monster bad guys or whatever. They're just like on a team. But still. Yeah, those are pretty much my thoughts. So Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time for more Endgame of Devil. Goodbye!